stresses in orbit coupling. Let us see an example to demonstrate, to illustrate this hyperfine coupling. For example, hydrogen atom. In the hydrogen atom, you have one electron which is in S equal to 1 by 2 and the proton I equal to 1 by 2. In the absence of magnetic field, the electron spin states are degenerate. In the presence of magnetic field, it splits into two. We have seen earlier. And further, the two spin states, each spin state is split into two levels due to coupling between the electron spin moment and nuclear spin magnetic moment. Therefore, it splits into two. In the case of ESR, minus 1 by 2 is the lowest energy state, whereas in the case of NMR, plus 1 by 2 is the um, ground state. Therefore, by following the selection rule, delta Mi equal to plus or minus 1, there are two transitions, therefore two, there are two signals. There are two signals obtained due to hyperfine splitting due to I equal to 1 by 2. The hyperfine splitting constant is uh, calculated from the spectra as shown here. Let us see few more examples. Cyclopentadienyl. Here it is a it is it is a free radical, it's a paramagnetic molecule. The electron is delocalized, the unpaired electron is delocalized over 5 protons, therefore n plus 1 rule, therefore sextet, there are 6 lines observed. In the case of benzene radical, the electron is, the unpaired electron density is delocalized to over 6 hydrogen atoms, therefore there are n plus 1 septet, there are 7 lines observed with the intensity ratio. Uh, using Pascal diagram, it is obtained. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Let us now see naphthalene anion radicals, similar to benzene anion radical. Here, there are, there are two types of protons. Alpha proton, 4 alpha protons and 4 beta protons. Therefore, they have different chemical shift as well as uh, different coupling constant. For example, the coupling constant, hyperfine coupling constant A for alpha, alpha proton is 4.9 gauss, A beta is 1.83 gauss. The unit for uh, hyperfine coupling constant is uh, gauss whereas uh, J in hertz. The formula used to, to calculate the number of lines is 2Ni plus 1 into 2n i2 plus 1 therefore 2 into n4 and proton i equal to 1 by 2 therefore there are 25 lines it agrees with the number of lines obtained in the actual nmr spectrum here what is mcconnell's relation this gives the relationship between the hyperfine coupling constant and the unpaired spin electron density. If the unpaired electron spin density is larger, then the hyperfine coupling constant is larger. The unpaired electron couples with the proton. A, the hyperfine coupling constant is equal to Q rho C, where Q is a, an empirical constant, proportionality constant, it is for hydrocarbon radical 20 to 30 gauss. Using this expression, using this, uh, once you know the hyperfine coupling constant from the experiment, Q value is known. You can calculate the electron, unpaired electron density. Rho C, uh, rho C will give the unpaired electron density distribution. Using this, we can predict the chemical reactivity site. Uh, here we will study the EPR of TPPH radical. It is an EPR uh, reference compound similar to TMS. Tetramethylsilane is the NMR reference compound. Diphenyl picryl hydrazyl, hydrazyl radical, 
uh, is a reference for EPR. It is a field marker. It is a field marker. For example, this is the EPR spectra of uh, exchange coupled copper complex. This is the DPPH signal. In the solid state, it occurs as a singlet. It occurs, it exhibits a single line because of uh, exchange narrowing due to Heisenberg spin exchange. DP, uh, DPPH in the solid state gives a single line due to exchange coupling, exchange narrowing. Okay, let us see the structure of DPPH. The unpaired electron is delocalized over two nitrogen atoms. Therefore, I equal to 1 for nitrogen 14. There are two nitrogen atoms, 2n i plus 1. There are five lines within the ratio as obtained here. It is very, very important. And this question was asked in uh, CSAR for gate. DPH is a field marker. Using this, the G value for the since the G value for the DPPH is 2.0023, it is known. Therefore, the G value for the copper complex, iron complex, or any free radicals can be calculated using this as a reference compound. 